Shark sightings are on the rise. This new cell phone video that went viral shows a hammerhead shark swimming near Pensacola Beach. Five swimmers in New York are also recovering from shark attacks. The uptake of shark encounters have a lot of swimmers wondering, is this normal? What can they do to protect their families? Tonight we're hearing from the experts about how to stay safe in the ocean. It's a viral video of what shark experts say is a hammerhead shark, likely more than seven feet long, swimming in waist deep water along the Navarre Beach coastline. You can see swimmers scrambling to get to the sand, but according to shark experts, this shark's behavior around all these swimmers is actually comforting to witness. And that's actually quite reassuring, or it should be, because there were lots of people in the water, but yet the, the, the shark was meandering around chasing its food, bait fish. Gavin Naylor is the director of Florida Shark Research and says it's evident from the video that the shark wasn't interested in humans at all. He says the increase in shark sightings coincides with sharks drawing closer to shore in search of food. All five shark bites along the Long Island coastline over the holiday weekend are believed to be the result of mistaken identity. The sharks think they're feeding on bait fish or bunker fish, and that's why these are bites. They weren't really a, a, a real attack like you'd see a great white. So what about North Florida beaches? Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue Captain Rob Emmeheiser says the sharks to be concerned about locally are bull sharks, tiger sharks, and the very rare great white shark. O-Search hasn't tracked a white shark off the Florida coastline since last April when a nearly 1,700-pound shark named Vimy was located off the coast of St. Augustine. Emma Heiser urges people to always swim near a lifeguard and to be aware of your surroundings. If you're around a pod of bait fish, well, that is food for larger fish. So that's, that's something simple that everybody can see. If you see seabirds diving uh, you know, in a concentrated area, that's usually a pod of small fish and uh, you would never put your hand in a in a hungry animal's food bowl. To reduce your risk of a shark encounter, never swim alone. Don't swim at dawn and dusk. Avoid swimming near piers or jetties. Don't wear shiny jewelry and avoid splashing. That's similar to the sound of a struggling fish. If a fish on a line near the pier is thrashing, you know, it's not unusual for a larger fish to come up and take advantage of that. Shark experts also suggest to be careful swimming and standing on sandbars and drop-offs that may be close to shore or out at sea because sharks like to hang out in these areas. And they're also especially prevalent around local jetties like Bayport, Matanzas Inlet, and farther south for shore at New Smyrna Beach.